drops at 12, right? Yeah. I missed it. How much did they ask for these? 240? 240, bro. What do you think of that price? Tats, bro. Hey, this stuff is definitely vintage though. Yeah. See, there's a store in Long Island called The Spot, and they sell shirts like this. Is this reprint or is this really vintage? I don't think this is vintage. Reprint? It, yeah. Yeah, oh. Well, it might be. It's late 2000s, yeah. something like that. Uh, so I'm trying to get these, 992, but in like a white colorway, the uh, sea salt. It's tough, but I can't find it, but these are tough too. Yeah, I like this. Hit up Mr. Throwbacks for the 1992 Bulls t shirt. That's tough. I like that one. It's lit, man. Word. So, Nike has already been rolling out several Jordan 2s this year with collaborations like Amma Menye, the Unions, and also the upcoming collaboration with Nina Chanel Abney, which is supposed to release soon. And meanwhile, the Jordan brand is starting to push out the Jordan 2s more. I feel like this model is largely underrated and heavily slapped on. Now, I wanted to get the Union 2s, but I took an L on those. But I did manage to get a W on these, which is the collaboration with Parisian fashion label Maison Chateau Rouge. So they also dropped some apparel alongside this collaboration, including shirts, pants, hoodies. Now they also had this fire ass jacket that I seen, especially on the back, it has some super fire details. So I got these off the sneakers app for 225 euros and I believe these haven't dropped in North America yet and I think this is just a super clean pair. It comes in this predominantly sail based leather upper with brown, yellow and orange accents all throughout the shoe. Now these are definitely nice for the summertime and also the shoe box, it looks incredible. It's like one of the nicest Jordan shoe boxes I've seen so far so we're gonna get into all of that and of course at the end of the video i'm about to show you guys a on feet and go ahead and hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's hop straight into it All right, so let me show you guys the box first. Box is definitely the star of the show. Like I said, this is like one of the nicest Jordan boxes I've seen so far. Like this shoe box has so many details on it. Like on the top, it says Air Jordan. And on the side, the way it's cut out, it looks really nice too. And also on the side of the box, when you open it, it says United Youth International, Chicago, Dakar, Paris. Now, for you guys that don't know, Dakar is the capital of Senegal. And that's where the owners of the brand are from. And as you open the box, you are greeted with this nice tissue paper with a bunch of illustrations, including Michael Jordan himself, and also the flags of France, Senegal, and United States. And on the inside of the lid, it also says Maison Chateau Rouge. You also have a, like a champion's ring with the initials MCR. As I remove the tissue paper on the inside of the box, you also have an illustration of Michael Jordan with the Eiffel Tower in the back. So yeah, super nice box. I will read you guys the size tag though. It says Air Jordan 2 Retro SP and the colorway reads Sail, Citroen, Pulse Orange. And I got this in a size 8.5. These do run true to size. I got my true to size 8.5 and these fit perfect. All right, so moving on to the shoes itself. Like I said, the whole upper is made out of the seal leather. I like the fact that they made like a seal upper instead of the regular white upper. It definitely feels nice. Definitely feels soft to the touch, especially on the toe box area. So on the side, you also have this embossed print on the leather. It looks really nice. And so on this shoe, you have hints of like yellow, orange, and also gray. Now the gray parts you can see on the back of the shoe on the bottom. It comes in this gray new buck. And you also have some gray around the eyelets of the shoe. And then the orange, you have some orange zigzag stitching on the side of the shoe on both sides. And you also have these small orange stitching on the laces itself. And on the tongue, you also have this almost like a baseball type of stitching in orange as well. And on the toe box, you also have this little hint of orange. 
I think this is new bug. I'm not sure. But it definitely looks nice and interesting. You don't see this a lot on Jordan 2s. And also on the back part, it comes in this orange new bug, which looks really nice. And so it also comes with seal laces. Like I said, it has this orange stitching to it. And it also comes with some extra laces. You have some yellow laces, some orange laces, and some brown laces. Now me personally, I would definitely leave these seal laces in there. It's definitely not doing too much. It gives it a nice clean look. And also on the back part, on the left shoe, it says Nike. And on the right shoe, it says Missonja to Rouge. Also on the inner lining, you have this brown inner lining, which feels super soft. This shoe is pretty comfortable. And also around the lace hoops, you also have this white leather. Almost in this like shark teeth patterns so you also have a seal midsole it also comes with like orange or yellow speckles on it you can only see it when you look it up from close and on the bottom you also have this hint of yellow and overall it looks really clean and also the insoles are super nice again you have the michael jordan illustrations on it so this whole design is just super dope it gives a nice representation of the brand mcr also somewhat of an introduction to the brand because i'm sure some of you guys never heard of this brand until now i think this is the best colorway i've seen on a jordan 2 so far i could definitely see myself wearing these with some shorts in the summer so yeah that basically wraps up this video let me know in the comments down below what you think it is are you planning on copying a pair for yourself what do you think about the resurgence of the jordan 2s or just the overall hype behind this model let me know in the comments down below and i want to thank you guys for watching this video go ahead and hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out